Hello, it's Karen Connor here, and I wanted to participate in this month's project. So, uh, I'm going to be using my jelly plate. You know, I love my jelly plate. And then I'm going to be using this Americana stencil. It's called Dangles. I thought I'm going to do a Christmas bag. Got my bag right here. So, um, we're going to be using Americana paints made by DecoArt. I'm going to try the berry red and the cadmium yellow. Um, so for my background, and I've already decided like how I'm going to have to do this uh, to fit this on this bag. I'll have to do the pattern to where it'll go like that. So that's what we're going to do today. So let me get my stencil out. So the stencil is going to have to go this way because I want it to be this way when I put it on. So if I do it this way and then put it that way, it'll work, okay? So I, the first thing I'm gonna do is do a base coat of the cadmium, cadmium yellow. And I am going by the cubism that Picasso did here. And one of the things I do, and to get the to get the Boic, I use um, scrap paper, and then I'm going to be punching this out. Okay. So the look that we're going for while we're waiting for this to dry, I've already practiced. So this is the look we're going for. Okay. So I started with a pattern on the bottom. Then where I had rolled off my excess paint, I punched circles and just glued them on in various places. And then um, I washed it with some gold um, and then crumpled paper on top. It gave it a great, I hope that's not too shiny for you. The gold is really shiny. As you can tell, I'm working on Christmas tags. So um, I love this technique and um, I love the just the the colors that that are there and the different um, the different ways that you are bringing out layer after layer. So um, we do have to wait for this to dry for the technique that I want to do to work. So um, I'll be right back because it does take just a moment. Okay. Thank you. There's a couple ways to get this technique. Um, you could have, I could have either pulled the pulled the yellow uh, off while it was wet, or you can add color on top. Okay, so either way, either way, you're going to get a different look either way. Okay, so we just mainly don't want this to move, so we can get this down and. I was trying to decide what two colors would look best because I already know I want to use a unity stamp of an angel. Alright, so we've pulled that off. So now we're going to put that right onto our bag. And I keep mine stuck to the plastic. And this way we'll be able to line this up just like this. Turn the ring. And to get it off, you know, normally I'm doing it the other way, but which I guess I could flip it over now, but let's make sure it's going to work too. So we, we, we can do that. We can do that. Alright, so let's see how it turned out. So here we go. So we didn't get as much of the yellow as I would have liked. But that's okay. That is okay. Um, so now we've got to do a second one just like it and what we're, we're going to do a wash on top of this anyway so it's really not going to matter that the yellow is not showing we can always do a wash Ooh, that was way too much wasn't it so that's all right because this is the piece we're going to be punching our circles out of so we could use some more paint on there anyway all right so here we go so again we got to let this dry a little bit um, I will be back. Well, I wanted to check back with you. Here's the one I was working on. When I did the second application, I stood up and pressed it down so a lot more of the yellow showed through, which I liked a lot better. So then uh, I decided I would 
use this stencil. Um, I pulled the yellow off of the stencil without putting the red on there. Okay, then I applied the red and did this one. So then the yellow didn't show through. So then I took the stencil and I stenciled the yellow in. So these are still looking kind of flat to me. So what I'm going to do is take my page and I'm going to be punching out circles. I have the Stampin' Up um, one inch, three fourths inch, and the little baby one. And um, I'm going to do a little doctoring on that a little bit and um, I'll be back. Thanks. All right, I'm back. Well, I tried the punching the dots out, and here's here's one. I did the dots that I punched out right here. Um, I already had this word just laying here that I had already cut out for something else and uh, had left over. So in order to get the um, shading, I added some burnt umber with my finger and kind of wiped it off. Okay. Um, and then with this one, I decided I didn't want to do the circles on there. So I highlighted the circles from the stencil. I used a Posca black and white pen. And on this one, I did the circles, but they just weren't popping up enough and there just wasn't enough depth. So um, I do a lot of the, the BOEK, B-O-K-E-H technique with this. And so, um, as you can see, I've been using my white, my cad yellow, and my berry red, and just added some more dimension on top of the stencil. Isn't that just cool looking? So now you can decorate. Um, I'm going to put some glitter and sparkles and um, finish them up, and you will see the finished product at the end in the photos. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you all have a blessed day. All right, I'm done. Here's number one. I added a die cut from my Cricut, and this is a digital image I colored in with colored pencils. And I've covered the whole thing with Americana Decoupage Crystal Glitter. Gives it a real nice shine and glimmer. Isn't that pretty? And then this, this second one I used the Unity Stamp Ariana Girl, and she's an Angie Girl. And this is a um, cutout. And I, I covered this in the uh, crystal decoupage as well to make give it a good shine and glimmer. And my last one, I found these die cuts when I got out my Christmas stuff. And um, so this one's got a matted look, but we got the pop of glitter on these cutouts with some pearls in the center. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and I appreciate you um, checking in with us. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Bye.